It's your typical Cumbrian summer's day today. Cool, overcast, a bit showery. So I've decided to come along to Whitehaven and have a look at an indoor attraction. And that indoor attraction is the Rum Story. Let's go and take a look. The Rum Story is housed in the former bonded warehouses of the Jefferson family business on Lowther Street in Whitehaven. There is a charge for the exhibition, but the shop, cafe, and Jefferson's office, which you're about to see, are all free. Latest admission prices and opening times can be found on the website rumstory.co.uk. My name is Mr. Coleman, and it's been my pleasure to work for Mr. Henry Jefferson for the past 25 years since 1830. And he has entrusted me with overseeing this most wonderful and magnificent business of changing the sugarcane into molasses and then the molasses into our fine and exquisite rooms. And we're in to the rainforest. All the work on the Jefferson's plantation at the Yeeman estate was carried out by slaves, overseen by a slave driver of the same descent. The slaves would work through what would now be considered inhumane conditions within a hot and humid environment with little to eat or drink. It's down here. Let's go and have a look. Powerful room in the world. 150% room. Can't quite see it. It's 
something about prohibition there. It's the office of Elliot Ness. The modern European practice of introducing children to wine at the meal table has nothing on the habit of colonial America. Rum was routinely administered to sickly babies and when they had recovered it was used to keep them quiet. Sounds like a plan. Smuggling was always rife around the lonely coast of Britain. This could be the view from a typical Cumbrian cottage with its distinctive veranda. Oh, and there they are. Smugglers. Oh dear. Moving into pirate territory. When I was a lad, so said me dad, you're off to sail at sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, the captain said to me, We go in this without reports and backwards over the Irish Sea. A bottle of rum to fill my tub, a pirate life for me. We go in this without reports and backwards over the Irish Sea. A bottle of rum to fill my tub, a pirate life for me. Yar me hearty! Giant battle. What is the Blue Peter? What's the origin of the expression down the hatch? Port and starboard. Scuttlebutt. Poop deck. It looks like I've came to the second floor, floor first. I've missed the first floor. Right, I'm gonna have to go this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
know something of our Jefferson family history. Now, up these fine stairs, my friends, you will experience rum in the Navy. Visit our Jefferson Cooperage. Maybe taste the more unpleasant aspects of strong drink and the difficulty of our old jazz. When Robert Jefferson wasn't on duty commanding the West Cumberland Yeomanry and Cavalry, he was a successful steeplechase rider, founder and president of the Hound Trailing Association, and a supporter of the West Cumberland Beagles and Otter Hounds. The Jeffersons were active people. Rum, that dark spirit, must have kept them going. And life has returned to Jefferson with the rum story. The That's the bottom of that big battle from upstairs. So this section is all about the history of the Jefferson family who um, used to own all these buildings before they were turned into uh, the rum story. Quite interesting if you're into kind of local history type things. And I am completely going around this backwards but never mind. Vauxhall Gardens. The Georgian Punch House. Looks like a fun place to be. It takes place upstairs in fermentation tanks or vats where the wash is fermented by the natural yeast from the atmosphere. After fermentation, the juice is sent to the rum distillery, which is made up of three sections. <laughs> This is all about slavery and uh, slave ships and and so forth. Somebody's been sold there. This is what it's like on a slave ship. Poor, stinks. It's one of these places that has smells as well as <laughs> other things. It's quite dark. Don't know how much of this you can see, but it's quite dark in here. Quite horrible. So that is it, and back to the rainforest. That was really good. Definitely well worth a visit. Definitely. I'm gonna go and try the cafe now. I'm just gonna wait and have a look around the shop and get my free little bottle of rum. That's not free, but it's included in the price, but you know what I mean.
That's the room that I got. Cool. So there you go, that was the rum story. I can absolutely recommend it. Somewhere nice to go and visit. A great indoor attraction if it's a bit wet or a bit rainy or a bit cool outside. Pop into Whitehaven, give it a visit. Pick up your bottle of rum that you get as part of your adult admission and uh, enjoy something in the cafe, buy something from the shop and have a great day out. That'll do for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.